Let's talk about how to see UTM parameters in Google Analytics reports. So what are UTM parameters in Google Analytics reports? So first, let's do a quick overview of a UTM parameter. UTM parameters uh, are basically uh, ways you can track a link when it points to your website. Um, so what you do is you add uh, extra characters to the end of a URL, and if they're in the right syntax, this information will be passed along during the click, and then the Google Analytics code that's on your website will acknowledge these uh, parameters, these values that you set, and record that information. There are three parameters you're going to typically, or that are required. There are a couple other ones, but these are the required ones and usually are best for most things. One is the source. So, the, and again, these parameters are any value you want to set. So the source, this would be where is that link been placed. The medium, the method by which it's coming through. So it could be web or email, or again, whatever value you'd like to do. And name, this is one that's more straightforward. So the campaign name that you actually want for the um, tracking. These URLs can be placed on a lot of other websites and other things that involve the internet. So you could put these in uh, social media posts. You could put these in a paid ad and other content creation that you might do throughout the uh, uh, internet. So this could be if you're putting some information, say on Medium or on LinkedIn or other places you might create some articles. If you're doing guest posting, you can use those there. And basically any place on the internet where you put a link, uh, a UTM parameter can come in and be used. One of the things about UTM parameters that's a little bit confusing is you don't actually have to do anything. Once you put them into the link and you put that link on the website, they're automatically tagging that. So there's no additional configuration that you need to do in Google Analytics. Those uh, parameters of source, medium, and name will just automatically show up in those reports. The tip of, or the, the the first reports you want to look at to see your UTM parameters are the ones that are involve source slash medium and the one that's the all campaigns report. So let's start a demo. So first we'll go ahead and set this uh, demo up so you can see how uh, the test will go. Well, I'll use a couple different websites for this. Uh, we'll see the results in real time just to make sure things are coming through. And finally, I'll show you where that data will show up in the specific uh, reports within Google Analytics. Okay, let me show you a demo of how to uh, see the UOTM parameters in Google Analytics. So first, we kind of have to set up a little uh, test scenario here so that you can actually see the result. So in this case, our website, the one that we are driving traffic to, is called Home Service Company. So this website is where we're going to have links come to. So we're looking at the houseservicecompany.com URL. But in order to see the UTM parameters, we need to put the links actually on a different site. So, uh, and this could be anything. This could be another website. This could be social media. It really doesn't matter. But in this case, I'm just going to show uh, one website going to another. So we have this site uh, called Construction that we're going to put a link on. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and create a new page on this site. But again, you could put the uh, URL anywhere. I'm just doing this for testing purposes. So we'll just call this page test. We'll go ahead and publish that. And then we'll just view the page. Okay, so nothing, <laughs> nothing much to speak of here. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is actually create the URL with the UTM parameters. So again, we want it to go to houseservicecompany.com. Now, we could write it out, but I prefer to use a tool. So uh, in this case, just go to Google and type in um, UTM parameters Google tool. Okay, and it's the campaign URL builder here. So campaign URL builder, uh, again, many different ways to find it. Too hard to remember all that. So the nice thing about this tool is it shows us all the things. So the ones with the asterisks is, are the UTM parameters that we have to have. So first, obviously, we have to have the URL. Then we have campaign source, campaign medium, and campaign name. 
So we'll go back and we'll just grab our URL here and paste that in. So campaign source. So they're referencing uh, newsletters, uh, Google as potentially the refer. I'm going to actually call it construction website. Now, one thing to note is uh, UTM parameters are case sensitive and they really don't like uh, spaces. You can definitely use them, but you have to put in a special uh, word. Um, if you would like to break that up, an underscore is fine. Um, it really kind of just depends on how you want to see it. But they are case sensitive, so underscore construction, underscore website would be different than the upper ones. Medium, uh, and they mentioned a couple here. Uh, CPC, cost per click, banner, email. I'm just going to call this web because it's a website. And then the campaign name obviously get much more uh, flexible here. So we're just going to do test underscore campaign. You could use term and you could use content, but these are the only three that are required. And as you've been typing that, you'll notice that the URL has automatically been created. And again, if we just look at the um, way this is laid out, there's the URL. Then it has a question mark, then UTM underscore source equals construction website, ampersand UTM underscore medium web, and UTM underscore campaign test campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy that URL. We'll go back to the web page in question. We'll hit edit page. And we'll just go ahead and paste that URL in there. Now this is just... Uh, uh, WordPress thing, um, things will, some will automatically do links here. We just got to make sure that as all the updating there, we'll go back to the visual. We'll see that it's underlined and we'll hit an update there. And finally, we'll view the page. Okay, so there we have it. And we'll notice, even though it's a little hard to see in the yellow, that that is a hyperlink. Okay, so again, just to uh, kind of get you up to speed, we're on a website, could be anything, happens to just be this WordPress one. We have a link that's going to go to this website to open up the home page. And we use the Google Campaign URL Builder to build our UTM parameters. Okay, so the first thing before we actually click the link we want to do is we want to open up our Google Analytics account for the website that is the destination, so the house service company. And again, that is analytics dot com slash google or do <laughs> analytics period comma period com okay go ahead and log into that with your username and password okay and because we're going to do kind of a real-time test uh, we, let's go over here to the reports into real time and we'll do the overview and we'll see that there's nobody on our site right now so we're going to go ahead now and click on that link. And because of how we built the uh, hyperlink, it just automatically opens it up. Now, if you notice up here in the URL, we see that it's sending our UTM parameters as part of the URL. So now we'll go back to analytics and we'll see, hey, we have one visitor, probably us. And now we can kind of look around and just make sure everything's going. So the first thing we see is it's, yep, Going to the home page, there's no parameter there. Uh, I'm not showing any information here about source or keywords. We'll look at traffic sources here. And now we'll actually see how automatically our parameters are being passed. So first of all, we see that the medium is web, which again, if we go back to our URL tracker or creator, we'll see that's what we typed in under you know case sensitive. We'll see that the source is construction website. Again, exactly how we typed it in there. And so we have those uh, parameters being passed. We'll look ahead um, for content. Again, it's just showing us that it's loading the top page and it's uh, actually not an event. So again, we'll go back to traffic sources and it's all we can see here. Okay, so we just have proven that the data is being passed and being recorded. So now let's go ahead and start looking at actual reports where that uh, UTM parameters, the values that we created, will actually show up in our Google Analytics reports. So uh, the two best reports, the most obvious ones, are if you go into acquisition, all traffic, and source medium. 
because two out of the three ones we typed were source and medium. Okay, so the first thing is we actually have a date range that doesn't include today. So let's just change this from a custom to actually today and hit apply. Okay, so now we see right here under source slash medium, there's our construction website as a source. There's our web as a medium. So we got two out of three. But what if you wanted to look at the campaign? Well, got a couple different choices. One, we can go to a different report that talks about campaign. So we were in acquisition all traffic source medium, but this time let's go to acquisition campaigns and all campaigns. And there again, we'll see that the test campaign is registered as one. So there's where it is. Now, there are other places. So let's say, for example, you're in this all campaign report and you're looking at the campaign, but you like to look at it at source. Well, just click up here under the primary dimension. And these are different words and phrases that are used in Google Analytics. But anyways, campaign, go ahead and look at source. There's our construction website and we look at medium. And there's our web, we could look at source medium. And there it's put together. So basically, again, they're automatically tagged. You don't have to set up anything in Google Analytics. You just have to have the URL with those three attributes, uh, source, medium, and name. And those uh, values that you put just show up in different reports. Um, again, these are just the two um, default ones, but let's go back up to all traffic and source medium. And just say, for example, instead of the source medium here, we're going to go ahead and add a secondary dimension of campaign. And now we'll see that the campaign and the source medium shows up. Now, the reason I wanted to go back to this one is just to show how, um, by default, there are other ones present. So direct is a built-in source, which does not have a medium and does not have a campaign. So you get the not, no, not set and none. Um, this actually was me testing before I recorded the video. So that was just going to the website directly by typing in the URL. Now, again, on your website, you're going to have a lot more traffic, hopefully, and you'll see a lot more defaults that show up here under source medium. You may see some social media sources. You might see um, other websites uh, might pop up. But anyways, so this is um, where you can be in there. But again, here's the interesting thing about the source medium and campaign names. You can be in other reports. So let's say, for example, we went into our audience report and maybe we went to, uh, let's just say mobile, because we're trying to figure out which devices are coming to our site. Okay, so, um, well, in this case, we don't have any mobile traffic, <laughs> so there wasn't uh, showing us there. But anyways, here we go, desktop. So mobile overview, we have one desktop. Now, say for example, we wanted to see a secondary mission there of source. Or let's just do source medium. There we'll see that one desktop user was the direct none source medium and the other one desktop was the URL parameter. So basically this is an example where Many, many reports in Google Analytics have the ability to be um, manipulated with other dimensions, other ways to look at it. I could filter using the different segments um, again. And those UTM parameters, source, medium, and name can be shown in other things. So here I can tell that right now of two users, here's what's occurring. So again, imagine you had a whole bunch of users and you're trying to see which desktop you use. Again, there's so many different ways to look at that. So anyways, to recap, um, Basically what we did is we have a destination website. We put a link on another website that when you click on it, the UTM parameter, uh, parameters pass through, which is the one up here. We use the campaign builder to create that URL to make it easier. We add it to the site, we clicked on it, and now the data is starting to show up automatically without us configuring any different things in Google Analytics. And then you can use different reports to change and uh, uh, filter or you know sort whatever you want by those different UTM parameters. And again, the real key here is you know exactly where this traffic for this one desktop user came from because that was a link on a specific page that you created. And that's the real power of UTM parameters. Hope this helps. So 
In conclusion again, UTM parameters can be set on different URLs that you place on different uh, places on the internet, so websites or social media, for example. Those parameters are values that you set, which cause automatic tagging to show up in Google Analytics. You don't have to do anything for that data to flow through other than put the parameters in the URL. And then there's some uh, standard reports in Google Analytics, but basically any report that can be shown or filtered using source, medium, or campaign name, uh, you'll be able to see the results uh, based on those parameters and the values you set. Hope this helps.